So our next problem, we are gonna simplify by adding. Now I wanna warn you when you're doing homework questions, they're usually just gonna say simplify. So how do I know it was simplify by adding? Well, there's a plus right in the middle, so that's one indication. And uh, <clears throat> you do not necessarily have to add as your first step. Uh, you can multiply by the conjugate right here over the conjugate, but uh, we're not going to do that move right here. And I'm going to simplify by adding, and I need to get common denominator. And as you can tell, there's nothing in common right here. So how do you add when there's nothing in common? So in the blue here, if I want to add two fractions, uh, AB, a over B plus C over D, they have nothing in common. I have to multiply the first fraction by D over D, so the denominator becomes BD. I multiply this fraction by B over B, so again, my denominator will be B times D. So here's what those look like. And then of course, the left fraction, A times D is AD, so it's AD over BD plus CB over DB right over here. That's exactly what we're doing, except things are a little bit more complicated over here. All right, so our first step, I need, on the left fraction, I need cos u in the denominator, so I have to multiply by this by one. Now the second fraction, We're gonna multiply by uh, sine u over sine u. All right, so this does give us common denominator here. And in the numerators, I'm gonna multiply cos u and distribute it here. So we got cos u plus cos u sine u plus over here, cotangent u sine u minus cos u sine u, all divided by cos u sine u. Now, you might be tempted to cancel out something that would be very incorrect to cancel out. You cannot cancel that with that because we're adding up here, not multiplying. So the opposite of addition is not division. So you can't, can, can't cancel those out. All right, what we can do is cancel these out. Nope. Hopefully we can cancel something out here. Cos u sine u minus cos u sine u. There we go. Those two cancel out. Again, they're the same term. They're just being subtracted. All right, what are we left with? We're left with cos u plus, now I'm ready to copy down cotangent u sine u, but our uh, instruction was to simplify. So I'm thinking cotangent, if we write that as cosine over sine, that may make things a little more simple. So I'm, I'm gonna rewrite that as cosine u over sine u. and copy down that sign u. And right here, you should be seeing the cancellation happening. Uh, divided by sign u, multiplied by sign u, cancels out. All right, so we got cos u plus cos u, and that is two cos u divided by cos u sine u. All right, I can cancel these cosines out. Why is that? Well, I'll draw in some extra multiplication dots right here. So they're being multiplied. So I have two times cosine u and the denominator of cosine u times sine u. Because they're being multiplied, I can now cancel them. And I have two over sine u. Now one of the tricky things about simplifying is when are things simple? I would say right here they're simple. I can also write this as two times one over sine u, and one over sine u is cosecant. So which one is simple? 
I would say both of those are pretty simple, just depends on who you ask.